Have you ever been at a sporting event and been overwhelmed, not knowing the closest place to get something to eat, your nearest exit, or more importantly, where all the action is? Well, IBM have solved that problem by updating an mobile app called IBM Sear on iPhone and Android that lets you maximize your experience at Wimbledon. But if you're not fortunate enough to have scored tickets to the two-week tournament, well, then you can always keep up to date at the comfort of your own home from anywhere in the world. Hi, I'm Leila Mackey, and you're watching Press Play. Here we go, we've got the app right here in my hands, and let's go ahead and check out the IBM Sear on Android. Okay, so this is the welcome screen. Okay, there's my POIs, camera, map, directory, and media. Down here, you have all of the icons. So the green is courts, the orange is food and drinks. You can select all, or you can remove all. Depends on really what you wanna see. Maybe you just wanna know what's going on for food and drink, and you wanna know all the cool landmarks around. And let's go to the camera view, which is augmented reality. And I'm a big fan of this technology. And you can see what's around. So we can go ahead and click on a cafe. And we can see that it's Cafe Pergola. And also, if you click on this middle icon here, you can scale. So you can actually see the things that are closest to you. And you can turn. You can also look at the map. If you want to see where we are, you can just zoom in a little bit. And this is where we are. There's a little arrow sign with hot pink tennis rackets. Very cute. That's where we're based. OK, let's look at the directory. Now we can scroll through the directory either by the nearest or the type. Let's sort the nearest to us. There's the player's entrance, which is good if you want to go out and stalk some of the players or get signatures. And of course, various other things, such as buses, different gates, courts, museum, restaurants, etc. Let's go ahead and take a look at the media function. Now this is really cool because not only does it have live scores by radio, it also has a live video feed that's derived from the BBC. And now this isn't on all 19 courts at Wimbledon, but it will be on uh, court one, court two, and center court. You can also see it from taxi stands. So there's the northbound taxi stand and the southbound taxi stand, which is always great. So you can say, do I want to leave now? Ooh taxi stand looks crazy, I'll maybe come back in an hour or so, or it looks empty, let's go now and get out of here. There's also um, something called Henman Hill, which is like a communal area where you can keep up to date on all of the events. So there's a camera there. Okay, and then there's something called Twitter bragging, which lets you see from the IBM scouts on the ground, they'll be tweeting some live information, like human information <laughs> rather than just statistical data. I got a chance to speak with Alan Flack about IBM's contribution to Wimbledon. IBM builds and hosts Wimbledon.org, which is the championships website for the All England Club. And what you can see here is a classic example of the Wimbledon information system, uh, which is what our commentators will see. And what you can see is, for example, in this particular game, for the match and set, this chap's got 42% of unreturned serves, 70% of his serves, first serves were in. So what we've built is just a really big database of every, every single point and the statistical makeup of it. Uh, and then the commentators can use that to sort of add value to their commentary and to the, to, to the Wimbledon experience. I got a chance to speak with Michael Desmond, who's the commercial director of the All England Lawn Tennis Club, about the tradition of Wimbledon. Well, we think, not surprising, that Wimbledon is the biggest tennis event in the world. I mean, it's, uh, it'll be its 125th anniversary of the championships next year. We want to try and make the tournament as interactive as we possibly can for everybody who comes here to, to the tournament. Um, you know, so the fact that people can access data and this year for the first time we'll be able to see streaming of live games by simply pointing their, their mobile phones to centre court and number one court. Um, you know, we, we're trying, just trying to push back the barriers all the time. Well, it'd be rude not to indulge in some pims and strawberries and cream at the world's oldest and most prestigious tennis tournament. Well, that's it for this week's Press Play. I'm your host, Leila Mackey, in Wimbledon, and see you next time. Cheers!